Crow Song. And today I will be reading to you from Stars and Moon Flowers in Our Garden by Rainbow Star underscore 772. That's me. Now on to chapter 25, Interrupted Letters and Chances. Russia sighed a little as he left the office of the healer. He'd waved and said goodbye to him, and he decided to leave a little earlier than he would have liked so that he could see if there was a response in the flowers. He knew he probably shouldn't expect one, but he was hopeful. As he approached the flowers, he saw an envelope, nicely placed among them, and ran over to get it. He gently removed it from the flowers and fiddled with the envelope for a bit as he continued to his next class. He got in the room, and his teacher wasn't there yet, so he opened the envelope and began reading the contents excitedly. He felt giddy like a little kid. Dear Neeks, don't make yourself uncomfortable with a deadline. You don't have to meet up with me too soon. But I do feel excited to meet you, I must admit. As for Argentina, don't do anything that'll get you hurt. I hope you just help keep her away from me. I don't like her, but she's my friend's sister. How much of a disaster is your sister? Also, I'm very glad to hear that you've never talked, and I hope you plan to keep it that way. If, for whatever reason, you decide to talk, I'll be there to scold and treat you. I may not have met you knowingly yet, but I care deeply for you. Also, that'd be wonderful. I'd love to meet a Natalie. I don't think who you are would ever shift my perspective of you and make me uncomfortable. You could be anyone, and I'd still be interested in hanging out with you. And I did say I'd give Bean Pass for you. So, I did. But after meeting up, if you still want to pet him, feel free to pet him. As for your guesses, all of them are out. Dryads are spore spirits, and their descendants usually have fully white eyes or greenish irises. They also have an affinity for plant magic. I have next to no magic affinity, but I can use a little healing magic. I can use magic on plants to grow and heal them, but it's not high enough of a level for me to even be considered as a candidate for being a descendant of a dryad. As for Elf or Brenton, I just don't have any of the hallmarks of them. I also don't have any of the proper magic affinities, and none of my family are either of the two. I wish you luck on figuring out what I am. Sincerely, Aku. Russia smiled a little and took out some paper, a portable quill, and an inkwell out of his bag. He wondered how far into writing a response he could get before he was stopped by his teacher showing up. He uncapped his inkwell and dipped his quill into it, ready to find out. He was able to get roughly halfway done with his response before his teacher showed up and stopped him to start class. So, Russia capped his inkwell and put it and his quill away. Once he was done with that, he checked the ink on the paper, wanting to make sure it was dry before he put it somewhere. The class started, and it felt a bit boring to him. It felt long, but he was anxious to finish his next letter to America, so it definitely wasn't as long and drawn out as it felt. He knew that, but that information didn't stop it from feeling that way. Once class was over, he had a 30-minute break before his next class, so he walked to his room as quickly as he could so that he could finish his response letter. Once he was in his room, he unfolded the half-finished response and placed it on his desk. He took out the inkwell from his bag and uncapped it, putting it beside the letter. The sound it made earned him a half-assed glare from his cat, Anatoly. He laughed a little at that and took out his portable quill. He dipped it into the inkwell and started writing. Soon, he felt himself content with his response, so he got out an envelope. He wrote, 
from Neeks to Aku on the back. He waited for the ink on both to dry before he gently folded the letter and put it in the envelope. After that, he got up and walked out of his room, down the stairs, then out of the castle. He went over the chamomile flowers, then placed his response in them. As he walked to his next class, he remembered what America had done earlier. He remembered that America had heated up the tea with magic. This either meant that part of the letter was a lie, or that he used a lot of energy to do it. And based on what he knew, it was the latter. He was sure of this because he'd seen him get something to restore his energy. He thought it was cute he'd do something like that, but it was worrying. That gave him hope that he may have a shot and may be able to get her into a relationship with him. But he'd have to wait until at least the little game he'd started was over. If he was to be in a relationship with him he wanted the other to know that was him this reinvigorated his hope to get his guess on what america was correct he settled on that he'd keep a closer eye on how the other acted and such that definitely helped him get closer to a proper guess before he knew it he was in front of the classroom where his next class was to be held The class was one of the more interesting ones that he had, and now that he didn't feel urged to read or write, he knew he'd be able to enjoy it. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time, and I will see you tomorrow!